All right, guys, pretty much the worst thing that could have happened happened. Shaking, I'm okay. This is Solomon's father, Yona. Solomon is all shaken up, sitting in the car, waiting for help. This is the accident. He was coming straight down the street. He had a green light. The other guy just cut right in front of him, made a quick left. This is the other vehicle towards the back. We're waiting for rescue to get here check him out, make sure that he's okay, he's all shaken up. I am already here, waiting for that. And here is a better view as to what happened. Solomon is coming down from 8th Avenue, going to this intersection, and this vehicle was coming here, making a left turn, cutting right in front of him. He hit the brakes, but it was too late. He was not going fast. And this is the window of the other vehicle. And this is the accident. The rescue's not here yet, but my hand's a little shaky. I just wanted to kind of make a little video, see what happens. I was going straight. I was headed to Lowe's to just grab something. And uh, this guy made a left thinking, I don't know what. He smacked it pretty good. So the hood got hit, obviously the front, the bumper, the fender, the fender rubbed into the door, you can see, but overall it's not the worst it could be. And uh, we're just going to wait for rescue, we're going to get this figured out, the truck should work. And uh, yeah, so I'll pick you guys back up when things happen, but, but I guess moving? that popped. Alright, so you guys just saw what happened on the scene and obviously I was frantic and freaking out and didn't really know how to compose myself literally just crashed a two hundred thousand dollar ford truck that was perfect and uh now we got to deal with insurance we got to deal with getting it fixed so let me show you guys exactly the damage so what happened was i was driving straight and there was a guy on the opposing traffic in the left lane and uh, i'm going straight and he decided to make a left and uh didn't have enough space i hit the brakes but it was raining earlier so the floor was a little bit slippery so i slid right into him and uh i completely wrecked him he had a camry or something like that but what well, you know just off the front when you're looking at it it needs a bumper a grill shell the hood could be fixed but probably gonna replace the hood fender probably could use this fender flare needs the trim and then uh, let's see if you guys can see. Yeah, so inside everything's good. It got a little bit smushed, you could see, but we're gonna probably need to pull it out. So you pull this out on the frame machine. Underneath, I don't think that there's any frame damage. At least it doesn't look like, I don't see any crumple zones or anything. This got scratched up and bent, but it looks like that's real strong and it just kind of moved around it. So the game plan is uh, it's going to be going over to I-95 Motorsports. That's where I used to work, and they do incredible paint work. So I need to fix all that. The door got hit, you can see as well. And uh, the truck's been for sale since May. And all the legitimate people that are interested in buying it are always complaining that they don't like yellow and that they would have bought it if it wasn't yellow. So I'm thinking that maybe this is the reason that this happened is it's somehow supposed to be painted. So I don't know exactly what color we should paint it. Richard Rawlings said if it was green, he would have bought it. So maybe we need to paint it green, but maybe it means he's not going to buy it if you know we do that. So I don't know. I think maybe it needs to be black, freewheeling graphics. I love that. Um, what do you guys think in the comment section below? We're gonna be completely redoing this. So do we go back to the same scheme and just put it back yellow and white and don't touch anything else? Or is this the time that we take the whole thing apart and redo it? Cause I think we should redo it. I think it needs to do that. It's gonna cost some money, but then I can take it and sell it. Cause I can't keep this truck. If it was a four door, I probably would, but it doesn't make sense. 
So, so yeah, if we did that, we'd have to paint everything. The inside, we'd have to redo the headliner, the seats have all yellow. I mean, it'd be a lot of work, but I feel like it would be worth doing. So I guess time will tell. But I wanted to make this video, give you guys an idea of what exactly happened. It's crazy. You never think it's going to happen, but that's what insurance is for. So luckily, the truck had insurance. The guy whose fault it was, he has good insurance. So we'll get it figured out. In the comment section below, you guys let me know your thoughts. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, if you can, please subscribe. And if you didn't smash the like button on this video, do so. We'll see you in the next video.